We a lot in our doubles, you know, we've switched the teams around a few times, but we're clicking pretty good right now, and in a match like that, you know, we knew going into the match, Stanford has a really good singles lineup, you know, from top to bottom, and they also pride their top of the lineup a lot, and, you know, we, the doubles point ended up being huge. This thing about college tennis, you need to create depth, and we're fortunate, like I think a, a few teams in this country that have that depth, and and um, one of the things our guys have done a really good job of this year is waiting their turn, and I've always said like, successful people when given the opportunity are ready. The thing that I think has really helped us this year when we've set out two guys in, in ACC matches or even three guys at times, the guys have played at a high level that we're playing low in the lineup. We just go out and try to get better every day. And one of the things I'm most pleased with is that the guys that kind of have waited their turn stepped up throughout the year and, and that only makes the rest of your team better. have been unbelievable this year. I mean, I, credit goes to Thatcher, who played a phenomenal match. He, he, he played incredibly well. He took it to Alex, and I give him a lot of credit. And the same goes for Klon. You know, Michael was up early, and then he let it get away. And th those two guys at the top of the Stanford lineup, they did more than their part. And a lot of credit goes to them, and he played a great match.
Stanford's top three can play with anyone in the country. Virginia's top three can play with anyone in the country. And we've been successful all year in the top three. I mean, they've, they've been almost virtually impossible to beat. Clayton is a great player. You know, he's experienced, you know, he, we knew going to the match, Coach and I had talked about it, that he has a he has a big forehand, he likes to use his forehand a lot. He hits it heavy, he can hit it flat. You now he's got a solid first serve, you know, good second serve, so you know it's hard to attack. And he came out he came out really strong in the first set, first set and a half, and I was kind of, you know, I didn't really have too many answers for him, and I was making a lot of errors, and uh, to give him credit, he was not letting me dictate at all. And, you know, I went down a set and a break, I kind of loosened up a little bit, and broke him right back at four all, and had a little bit of momentum going to the third. Once it's one set all in any match, doesn't matter if it's three all, or it's three love, or wh whatever the total match score is, it's a dog fight. When you're serving for the match, it's 30 love. It's hard sometimes not to think about the future, and I struggle with that sometimes. And today I was, I wasn't getting too excited, you know, as all my teammates and all the Virginia fans out there. As I kept going, I was, I was 30 love up. You know, everyone started like really cheering out loud, and just wanted to be composed, you know, and get the job done. And if I do come through in the end, then you know you can just be happy then. So that's what I've learned from my RJ UVA that you need to be the most important thing in those times is to be composed and save your energy for the biggest points.